In the posh enclaves of America's suburbs and exurbs, a gathering storm is brewing. A small but prosperous subset of homeowners, those who rolled the dice on adjustable rate mortgages over the past few years, are staring down a harsh reality, soaring mortgage payments that could stretch their finances to the breaking point. It's a cruel twist of fate, one that lays bare the perils of hubris and overconfidence in an ever-shifting economic landscape. As the Federal Reserve's relentless campaign against inflation has driven interest rates to dizzying heights, these borrowers, some 1.7 million strong, now face a reckoning. The numbers are sobering. According to data from ICE Mortgage Technology, a staggering 330,000 of these homeowners will see their mortgage payments spike as they emerge from the fixed-rate period of their loans this year alone. Another 100,000 face a similar fate within the next 12 months. Chris Stearns, a mortgage loan advisor at Thrive Loans in Southern California, paints a grim picture. They could run into some trouble, especially on these large loan amounts as their arms come out of the fixed period, he says. Your payment's gonna almost double and it's not gonna be pretty. It's a stark contrast to the halcyon days of 2019, when these borrowers secured their adjustable rate mortgages, arms, with an average size of $791,100 at an enticing fixed rate of just 3.3%. Back then, the monthly payment on such a loan amounted to a mere $3,465, excluding taxes and insurance, a sum that, for many of these affluent households, was a drop in the bucket. But now, as arm rates hover around 6.5%, the reset could be catastrophic. Even with the cap that typically limits the initial adjustment, that same loan could see its rate reset to 5.3%, adding nearly $1,000 to the monthly payment. For those accustomed to a certain lifestyle, such a jolt could prove unpalatable. A recent Bloomberg survey conducted by Civic Science Incorporated underscores the anxiety gripping these borrowers. A staggering 70% of ARM holders admitted to being at least somewhat concerned about their ability to make their new monthly mortgage payments in the wake of rising rates. Perhaps most alarmingly, nearly 1 in 10 confessed to contemplating delaying or defaulting on their mortgage once the adjustment kicks in. But what recourse do these beleaguered borrowers have? Tate Lane, a wealth manager at Merit Financial Advisors in Issaquah, Washington suggests that borrowing against non-retirement accounts could provide a temporary reprieve. Another option, he notes, is refinancing into an interest-only loan, a solution that, while kicking the can down the road, could offer a modicum of relief. Stephen Ebert, a lawyer with Casson and Casson LLP, points to the possibility of seeking a modification from the lender, which could involve lengthening the amortization period. However, he cautions that such modifications are hard won, requiring borrowers to demonstrate not merely a diminished lifestyle, but a genuine affordability crisis. The predicament these borrowers find themselves in is a stark reminder of the risks inherent in the pursuit of financial gain. Adjustable rate mortgages, once heralded by former Federal Reserve Chair Alan Greenspan as a potential avenue for substantial savings, have now become a millstone around the necks of those who embraced them. Yet, as Selma Hepp, chief economist at CoreLogic, notes, the current situation is far from a redux of the global financial crisis. Today's ARM borrowers are a fraction of their pre-crisis counterparts, with stricter underwriting standards and higher average credit scores providing a measure of insulation. Moreover, Hepp offers a glimmer of hope, by the time these loans are due to reset, mortgage rates are likely to be lower. It's a sentiment echoed by Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, who has signaled that rates, while expected to remain elevated for some time, may eventually retreat from their current stratospheric levels. In the meantime, those caught in the crosshairs of this mortgage reset crisis find themselves in a holding pattern, their fates inextricably tied to the ebb and flow of economic forces beyond their control. For some, the path forward may involve tapping into the equity accrued during the pandemic-era housing boom, perhaps through home equity lines of credit, Helix, a solution that, ironically, exposes them to the very same variable interest rates that have precipitated their current plight. As Tate Lane of Merit Financial Advisors laments, the problem is there's not really anywhere to run right now until rates get better. It's a sobering assessment, 
one that encapsulates the helplessness felt by these borrowers as they await a respite that may or may not arrive in time. In the rarefied air of America's affluent neighborhoods, where manicured lawns and gleaming SUVs are the norm, a harsh reality is setting in. The mortgage reset crisis is a stark reminder that wealth and privilege are no bulwark against the vagaries of the economic tide. For those caught in its undertow, the coming months will be a test of resilience and fortitude, a reckoning with the consequences of decisions made in more prosperous times. As this saga unfolds, one can't help but ponder the lessons to be gleaned from this cautionary tale. Perhaps it is a call for humility, a reminder that even the most prosperous among us are subject to the whims of the market. Or maybe it is a testament to the enduring allure of risk the siren song of potential reward that so often drowns out the voice of prudence. Whatever the takeaway, one thing is certain, the mortgage reset crisis is a stark illustration of the fragility of fortunes, a reminder that even the most gilded of lives can be upended by the inexorable forces of economic change. In the end, it may be those who weather this storm with grace and adaptability who emerge not merely unscathed, but wiser for having navigated the turbulent waters of financial upheaval.